Welcome back. We're Jesse and Irina Kaufman, and today we're going to talk about why you're still single. You might be asking that question, and the answer is simple, actually. But we're going to go deeper into it. Why are they still single? So everyone has a reason for why they're single. Yeah. I was single until I was 40, and I had my reasons. Guess what? All of the reasons were that I stated were external or some external force mm -hmm. or situation that was supposedly out of my control. And so I took on a position of powerlessness. Mm -hmm. And in doing so, I can't take responsibility for things out of my control. So I'm a victim. So confidence is the thing, really, right? Well, you I, I effectively relieved myself of any responsibility mm -hmm. or fault to have anything to do with the solution. Wow. And so, of course, I'm not going to be investing uh, into my personal growth and development to grow my confidence with developing new skill sets, mm -hmm. which is what produces confidence is you develop a skill set in the area you want more confidence in. Mm -hmm. To develop a skill set requires gathering some knowledge and understanding of what you even need to do and apply and yeah. become skillful at. I like so that's that. from the men's perspective. Yeah. You know, and whatever mindset we take on or whatever belief system we take on, we attract that into our lives. So mm -hmm. if you if you experience rejection, for example, enough to where you you recognize that oh everyone rejects me you you take on that you take ownership to, of that mm -hmm. to where it, you incorporate it into your identity you give off that energy of rejection and you attract more rejection and you expect people to reject you and you give off that energy mm -hmm. to where they will reject you they'll confirm what you have chosen to believe because they feel that from you yeah they 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 feel like that is something's Oh, I, I don't want to be around you. Mm -hmm. And they re it's like it's not it's not going to draw people into your your area of influence. Your energy is is such to yeah, where repelling. people will, it's it's going to repel people and cause them to reject you. Yeah. So we need to break that agreement and create a new story. I would suggest go find one of our past videos on agreements. Yes. And trauma Trigger, healing triggers to triumph. Yeah. So I know what about the lady? That was that's my story that's from the good. man's perspective. Yeah. Well, I think everything that ties to confidence, really, like if we look at it from a broader perspective. And a lot of times for women, either, oh, am I not, or am I not young enough? I'm probably too old already. Or why was I not chosen? Am I not smart enough? Am I not this enough? Am I not this enough? And then, the, you know, the body image and you name it, like women go through so much there as well. And you know it, right? If you're watching it, if you if you're brave enough to put in the comments below what your experience is and why you're saying that you're single, a lot of times we hear from others, oh, you're so awesome. I'm just so confused. Why are you still single? Why are you not married yet? Well, the the thing is, you know, we actually yesterday we watched some of the shows for matchmaking and and the movies. We, we do that, const, you know, periodically, I should say, because we want to see what's out there to give you more tools. And so not knowing what you want is going to attract of that, right? It's going to attract everything and anything, and you wouldn't know how to say no to things. Or if you say no to, to everyone, then of course, like Jesse said, you're repelling, you're, you carry energy of that. If you carry this belief or mindset that was put on you that you're an old maid, you haven't been chosen, there's something wrong with you, that's also going to carry that energy. So we need to shift that. The mindset needs to be shifted. And we need to learn how to take responsibility and ownership of our lives. And um, we we're reading a book today about a responsibility it's the ability to respond and choose your response and take responsibility for that response yeah so it's like knowing what you want right how can you respond if you know what you want you know who you are you have confidence in that it's just going to be much easier 
So you said something when we were talking about this, that how to shift your confidence and and go increase your confidence, I should say. You said take action. Yeah, take action. Take responsibility. Uh, stop making excuses. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, if you just ask yourself what the question, what's blocking, what's stopping you? Yeah. And then whatever comes out of your mouth, Mm -hmm. is is what you're making a god in yeah. your life that you have no power over mm -hmm. and therefore you're going to scapegoat out of taking responsibility for doing something about it yeah because since it's not your fault so to speak mm -hmm. you can't change it well right. that that's a recipe for staying stuck and yeah. staying single yeah and if if you don't know what you want if you haven't created that you may know think you know what you want but it might be superficial or surfacy or surfacy. Yeah. Okay. If you want, uh, if you want only something that's hot and handsome or, or beautiful or looks like a movie star, mm -hmm. are you cultivating that? <laughs> like for one, mm -hmm. I mean, uh, if, if you want somebody that is, is, is whatever you want in a person, yeah. Ask, pop it back are you becoming that person because you're going to attract what you are yeah. so if you're attracting a certain pe type of people into your life that you don't like then you don't it's not your type then you have to be really mm -hmm. honest and brutally raw with yourself and recognize yes. if you don't know what you want guess what you're going to attract people into your life that also don't know what they want mm -hmm. and if you even if you did you would be intimidated by them because they know what you want what they want and you don't and that's intimidating if you don't know what you want. Then you're going to agree with a lot of things that they want and then find out that they might not be what you want. And if you do get in such a relationship where a person knows what they want and you don't, ultimately it's going to fizzle out, burn out. Yeah. Uh, it's it's going to crash somewhere. Yeah. And let's say it didn't. I mean, then now we have a lopsided relationship where the one person is going to dominate and, and be moving forward. And, and even then, it's it's just both partners knowing exactly what they want, being secure in their identity, walking in a state yeah. of emotional and spiritual healing and health and vitality is the recipe for always growing and learning. Mm -hmm. So the two things you want to look for in a in a potential spouse, are they coachable, teachable? If they are, that is a sign of humility. And no matter where they are, they're going to get to where they need to be. And the other one is, do your missions align? Yeah. Do you have the, do you have the same or similar mission and vision for life? And the deeper you go with that, the better. So, where do you need to take action to boost your confidence? Do you need to learn how to connect with people, how to talk to anyone? You can learn that. Do you need to shift your body image? Do you need to lose weight? Do you need to do something to get you forward? to boost your confidence. Write those things down and see what actions you need to take to shift, okay? Small steps are better than the big leaps and then you stop, but small confident, consistent steps are important. So find those things, write it out, what are the areas you need confidence in and start learning that. You can come to our group and our community and join that and learn a lot of things there towards relationships, how to connect, communicate, and um, commit to things. That's where your confidence comes from. And so do that or find someone who can mentor you as well. You know, the other thing you said too is that, you know, some people are dating. They are on the dating websites. But interestingly enough, if you are on the free ones or the cheap ones, you're going to find a lot of things you need to be sorting through. It's going to be a higher percentage of people that are either, you know, not confident or have like different understanding of investing into themselves and i'd like to talk about that yeah imagine there was a dating site i i'm not aware of any there might there might be some out there i'm sure there is amongst the rich folks for example mm -hmm. that cost a thousand dollars a month to be a member of that group yeah do you think those people are serious do you think they're high quality mm -hmm. 
they're probably well, well off. Yeah. They are serious mm -hmm. and they only want to connect with other people that are serious and at their level of growth maturity. Yes. No, you may not be able to afford that, but that's my, my point. I'm making a point here. You get what you invest into and pay for. Are, how serious are you? Mm -hmm. If you just go for the free platforms and refuse to invest into anything and into yourself, you're going to attract that mindset of and, other people into your lives. And yeah. you can't expect to uh, meet somebody that is more than what you yourself are willing to be. Yeah. So you want to uh, you want to become above and beyond the type of person you want to attract into your life. Yeah. And, you know, I just thought of this. You said something really important. If you are not willing to invest into yourself, you're also giving off the image that I'm not worthy of investing into. I'm not worthy of getting, you know, of marrying because it is an investment. Marriage is an investment. You invest into yourself and then you invest into another person. Is right? your is your future spouse worthy, worthy of you? Yeah. Growing and investing into your personal growth and development. You are blessing your future spouse mm -hmm. by sowing into your personal growth and development. Yes. No different from going to school or college yes. to learn a skill set and mm -hmm. you know become a doctor, a lawyer, whatever it is. Mm -hmm. You have to invest money into those people that are teaching you and pouring into you and mentoring you. Yeah. It, it's it's a life principle. It doesn't matter what area of life it is, mm -hmm. even, you know, going to Bible college, you're going to pay money to those, to those teachers yeah. that are teaching you all about the Bible. Yeah. It's not free and anything that is free. Well, it isn't somebody else paid for it, exactly. whether by donation or their time mm -hmm. doesn't matter. So nothing really is technically ever free. Yeah. Um, and you'll appreciate and value more for that, which you pay for. Even if something is available to you for free, mm -hmm. if you still choose to pay for it, guess what? There's a kingdom law in God's kingdom that demands you reap what you sow. Mm -hmm. And you can't escape that. And that ties into the other thing that wow. I wanted to mention about. I love the that. number one thing that I encounter when I interview men is they're they're not willing to recognize that they're missing something. Mm -hmm. There's pride and ego there. Mm -hmm. And so they see uh, again that that causes uh, the, their circumstance of not being married to be an external force that's not their fault. Yeah. Well, that's you know it requires some humility and releasing of ego and pride to recognize that. Wait, I think I'm missing something. What don't I know that I don't know? Yeah. And I I had to get to that point too. Yeah. So same. Uh, and, but I, I always say at the end of the day, look at the fruit. What's mm -hmm. the fruit of your life? What mm -hmm. experience? What are you experiencing and walking through in your life? Mm -hmm. What is your life situation? And just recognize, be absolutely honest with yourself, and mm -hmm. recognize that the fruit of your the, the your situation and lot in life is a fruit of every decision you've ever made in your life. Yeah, every decision you've ever made in the lot in your life will produce the sum total of where you are in life yeah that requires some uh level of taking responsibility that very few people are willing to take but maybe you're one of those few special ones yeah. that are willing to say you know what enough's enough yeah. i've had it yeah. i'm going to turn over a new leaf and go a different route here mm -hmm. guess what if you do that and you stay that course you absolutely will get married exactly. and very soon yes because you're moving yeah a, a sailboat in motion is in motion because it has the sails up so the wind of the spirit can hit it, creates some motion so the rudder even works to even get mm -hmm. you back on course if you're off course. Mm -hmm. uh, waiting on God with, with anchor, you know, dropped and tied to the dock is a recipe for waiting on God for the rest of your life and not seeing it happen. Yeah. That's not faith in action. And what happens to the boat if it stays in that? Well, eventually it falls into disrepair and rot. Yeah. So we're proud of you for taking action and finding the areas where you need to shift things and get going. You're going to see results and you're going to comment here and let us know. Oh my gosh. Yes, that was awesome. I needed that little bit of a kick in the behind. And don't be like I used to be. Super smart, super intelligent. I, I know everything about everything mm -hmm. except when it came to getting married. Yeah. And I used all of that and those smarts and intelligence and skills over there to 
artificially compensate for my lack of confidence in mm -hmm. intimate relationships mm -hmm. towards getting married. I was terrified of the thought of getting intimate with a woman and, and proposing mm -hmm. and getting married to her and having sex with her. That was just like, oh, you know, was, I wanted it, but I was just too scared to go after it, if I was honest with myself. But I was, mm -hmm. I was everything else, everything else you could ever dream of wanting and being yeah. as far as being highly esteemed amongst people in other areas of life, spiritually. And but your fear was re repelling. Yeah. I was re the, the person. Yeah. And because, because of that, that belief, I was repelling intimacy yeah. and the ability to move forward towards marriage. You know, the other thing, and we're going to finish, I'm, I'm glad that we have this like rolling going here, you know, when we project also that I am perfect and I have everything going for me in life, that also reject or repels people. You attract other people into their your life that are just like that. Yeah. And then the, what happens is that you are setting up these high expectations for a person that no one will be able to fit into. And you are actually not flexible either, right? I was like that. I had to come off my high horse and be humbled and have humility and get my ego checked and the pride checked yep. and all that. So listen, we've been there. And sometimes we notice that some things rise up in us that we need to work on as well because it's a constant growth and learning life doesn't stop when you get married in growing you still need to grow and learn right there's always room for growth yep you want to set the precedent now while you're single mm -hmm. for what you want to maintain in marriage because mm -hmm. what gets you married will also keep you married and yeah. keep your marriage healthy yeah so we're going to stop at this hopefully this was helpful and you you really got the gist of what yep. we were and saying. It, and if, if you want more of this and more hands-on and something that you know comes with a little bit more guaranteed results, hop into our single to married community. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a subscription-based group because again, we want people in there that are serious. Yeah. They're not just, you know, floating through and kicking the tires, but they actually want to learn and grow and, and practice mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. and uh, make friends in the process. And you you gain access to us too. Yeah. How sweet weekly q and we'll get to connect with you will not be nice all right guys we love you bless you and until next time